Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with the top 5 new PC game releases for May of 2017. I brought this series back last month and you guys seemed to really enjoy it, so I thought let's do it again this month. And there looks to be a few quality game releases coming in May. Hopefully these games turn out well, and without further ado, let's get right into this with number 5. Number 5, want to mention this straight off the top since I talked about this game yesterday, and that's Prey, which is releasing on May 5th. The system requirements for this game just released, and I uploaded a video on that yesterday, talked about this game in detail and why I'm a little skeptical of it. On the surface, based on what I've seen so far, it looks really, really good. If you guys don't know, this is a reimagining of the Prey game that was released back in 2006. That game was supposed to see a sequel in Prey 2, never saw the light of day, and now Bethesda is bringing it back. Arcane Studios are the guys behind this. Those are the guys that developed Dishonored 2, which was a very good game. However, the performance on PC left a lot to be desired. It runs better now, but on launch, it wasn't that great. There's going to be no review copies for this game as well as the fact that there was actually a demo release for this game on PS4 and Xbox One. However, it didn't release on PC, so I'm a little skeptical of this game. I wouldn't pre-order it. You know, with Steam refunds, it's kind of irrelevant, but if you go through a different retailer, I wouldn't pre-order it. Wait until release, see how this game runs. It does have a lot of potential, but there definitely is some skepticism on how this game is going to run on PC. Hopefully it turns out well because the game looks really, really great. Next up, number four, we've got a really interesting game, it's Strafe. This is a fast-paced first-person shooter with an old-school pixel art style. This is probably one of my more anticipated games of the year, to be perfectly honest. It's pretty unique, and it's inspired from old-school first-person shooters such as Doom. It's very fast-paced. The art style is right up my alley. I know not everybody's gonna like it, but I am a sucker for pixel art style. The game also promises a really sick soundtrack. It releases on May 9th, and it's just $20, so this is a game I would definitely be on the lookout for. Not a lot of people are talking about it. This is one that I fully expect to go really under the radar, but it can be one of the sleeper hits of the year. And if you're a fan of retro style games, it's going to be right up your alley. Next up, Friday the 13th, a game that initially had a lot of hype behind it is releasing next month. It's launching digitally in just the multiplayer form. This game will have a single player, but that is not releasing next month. The single player will be releasing in the summer. This is a game that was actually kickstarted back in 2015, raised $820,000. It's an eight player multiplayer game in Camp Crystal Lake. It's semi-open world and it has seven players playing as counselors and one player playing as Jason. As Jason you have to kill all of the players and as the counselors obviously you have to stay alive. It's not the most original game in the world. A lot of games like this have been releasing but if you're a fan of the license this is going to be a game you want to be on the lookout for. Like I said multiplayer only is releasing next month on May 26th. A single player component will be releasing over the summer. The game will be releasing on May 26th. It will be $40 which is a little bit steep for a game like this. Hopefully it's quality to justify that price. Next up number two, we have The Surge, which is a game being developed by Deck 13. Not the most well-renowned studio in the world, but those are the guys that made Lords of the Fallen. A Dark Souls-style game. That game wasn't exceptionally great on PC. It did have a litany of issues at first, but when it works, it is a pretty decent game, and The Surge is following in those footsteps. It's got that Dark Souls vibe, but with a very unique sci-fi setting. I really dig the setting of this game. I think that's the highlight. Visually, it looks really good, and hopefully this time around, Deck 13 can get it right on PC. As long as this game runs well, like Lords of the Fallen was an okay game. They set a good foundation for what they could do with future games, but hopefully the Surge releases on point and there's no issues on PC. Again, this is one where I wouldn't pre-order. See how the game is on launch. Releases on May 16th. It does have a 10% off discount for $45 if you want to pre-purchase it, but again, I wouldn't pre-purchase it. Game has potential. Let's just hope it runs well on PC. The system requirements are out. Recommended GPU is a RX 480 and a GTX 970. So a little beefy, not that insane. Finally, number one, we have Rhyme, which is a game that's been in development turmoil for a long time. This game was originally set to be a PlayStation 4 exclusive. Development took so long that I believe Sony backed out. Now it is a multi-platform game that's coming out on PS4, Xbox One, PC. It's going to be coming out on the Switch in the future as well. And this is a very artistic game. A lot of comparisons have been drawn to titles such as Eco, Shadow of the Colossus, The Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker. To me, Wind Waker is the one that I see the most resemblance with. It's a single player puzzle platforming adventure. Originally it was supposed to be a giant open world game. I believe they've gone a little bit back on that design. However, it still looks to have a very vast world and artistically it's just outstanding. I love the art style. I always like watercolor style games and Rhyme is one that really nails that. It's going to be releasing on May 26th, same day as Friday the 13th for $27. It is originally $30. Pre-purchase takes 10% off. Again, wouldn't pre-order it. Really no reason to pre-order games anymore. And Rhyme is 
one that can really go one of two ways. It can be a hit, or with a lot of games that have been in development turmoil, they do tend to disappoint. Hopefully that isn't the case with Ryan because this game has a lot of potential. So that's going to wrap up top five best PC game releases for the month of May 2017. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Some pretty cool games coming out next month. Personally, I really hope Prey turns out well. I love Arcane Studios work. It's just a shame that Dishonored 2 didn't run up to par, but Prey from the footage we've seen thus far does look really good. And as long as it runs good on PC, it could be one of the best games of the year. Strafe looks really good. Friday the 13th has a lot of potential. Rhyme has a lot of potential. And The Surge is another game like Prey. Let's just hope it runs well. That's always the caveat with PC game releases. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.